I want to speak to you tonight on 1 Corinthians 11.1. 1. That's kind of my theme verse for tonight. It's a very simple verse of scripture. The Apostle Paul is writing to a church, and he writes this. Follow me as I follow Christ. I'm going to ask uh, if David McKinley could come up here, make their way up here, just as kind of human examples of, of this idea. Uh, each year, I, starting in November, I start to pray for God to give me a theme verse for the following year. I'd encourage you to do this. It's a little, it's a little scary. It takes a little bit of, of guts to do this because, you know, ask God, hey, give me a theme verse for the next year, and he will, he'll do something like that. This may be my theme verse for next year. I don't know. Follow me as I follow Christ. But the idea is, now David has volunteered, and I told him he gets to be Christ because he's, he's like the only guy I could think of that maybe would be a good Christ, right? So I'm, 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 I'm giving him that, right? So, so this, is, this is Jesus right here just for these few moments, all right? So we're supposed to be like Christ. We're supposed to be conformed to the image of Christ, so that's what's happening right here right now, okay? So the, the verse says, you're going to turn this way, all right? So the verse, this is Jesus, Paul I'll be Paul, all right? It says, follow me as I follow Christ. So this is my, my follower, right? So Paul is saying he is lockstep with Jesus. McKinley, thank you, by the way, again, for helping me out. McKinley may not be able to see or know Jesus well enough yet. She reads the Bible and she's like, I don't get anything out of it. She's praying and saying, you know, I just, I'm not quite feeling it. I'm saying, that's okay. Follow me. I'm helping you with the Bible. I'm helping you with prayer. I'm helping you to learn how to tithe. I'm helping you to learn how to forgive. I'm helping you, whatever those things are as we all struggle with. You don't, you don't got to see him yet. Because I'm so close to following him that you follow me. That's what this verse is saying. Thank you, guys. I appreciate your help in doing that. Now, I don't know about you, but that's very intimidating. Does anybody else think that, you know, hey, sign up for that? I'm, I'm comfortable saying, hey, you may not be able to, to know Jesus' voice yet. You may not be able to understand God's ways yet. But if you'll just follow my lead, you'll, you'll see what Jesus is like. You'll start to learn the ways of God. That is an intimidating thing, but brothers and sisters, that's what it says. And I don't think it was because he was the Apostle Paul. We can say, well, Paul could say that, which is the excuse I used to give for a long time. Well, Jesus, that was Paul. Right? <laughs> He's the Apostle Paul. Sure, he could say, follow me as I follow Christ. And it's like, well, shouldn't you be following Christ, though, Leaf? Uh, yes, I should. Then shouldn't people also be able to follow you? You know, David is here, and I'm here, and McKinley's here, and then... McKinley doesn't need me anymore, and she's able to see Jesus herself, right? But as I've thought about that, you guys, um, can you help me do that one more time, just since you're up here? I appreciate that. So the best, the best thing is that she's, I'm no longer here, and now you, you see Jesus for yourself. But you know what's even better than that, I've realized? Is when now... She's got somebody following her. That is the best. That's the home run. And that's what we're supposed to do. That is what discipleship is, is follow me as I follow Christ, and then you're getting closer, and now somebody's following you. Amen?